you know, I recently had a customer come in who wanted this cool kind of linear halftone fade, and so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how it was done. Just pick some numbers here, 524, and we duplicated them, and we created a path. And we go to our text, fit the path tool, and fit the 524 to the circular path. And now we take uh, the original here, and we want to give it a cool, kind of a nice uh, interactive fade. We adjust it to where we want it, where it's nice and smooth. And now we want to turn it into a grayscale bitmap. So we go to convert to bitmap. We got grayscale set at 150 dpi, which should be high enough resolution. Doesn't have to be too high. And now we're going to go to mode, go to black and white, and this is where we do the linear halftone. We go to conversion method, halftone. And we want it to be line. And we want to set the degrees to zero because we want the lines to be horizontal. And then the lines per inch, we set it at five, so it's a nice, coarse, graphic look. And there we have our cool linear halftone fade. It's kind of rough, and we can go in and smooth it out after we vectorize it, which we're getting ready to do right now. We select it, we go down to trace bitmap, trace bitmap, trace bitmap and choose line art which should suffice and there's a bunch of parameters you can change and uh, we just want to do a uh, just a real simple trace a number of colors too our smoothing is fine and we click OK and now we've got our uh, our vector linear halftone fade and we want to ungroup everything <coughs> because when it traces we've got the black and the white so we want to select the white and instead of going through and deleting it those individually we can go up to find and replace and we want to find objects that match that particular um, color so we want to find objects that that match the uh, you know what we selected we click edit it's uh, it's a curve it's got a uniform fill and it's got no outline we go to next specify curve properties it's uh, it defaults to matching the number of nodes we don't want it to match the number of nodes and we click next we click finish and then find all and then let's just give it a random color to see that it found all of the white that we want to delete yep there it is and we click the, dele the delete button and it's all gone now we want to uh, weld all the, the pieces of the individual number together so we select everything, go up to weld, select the four, go up to weld, so everything is all welded together. And so that's done and on the way. Now uh, we want to remove the, the um, our numbers on the path. We want to remove the path, so we select the numbers, we go up to, to ungroup, or break text apart, and then uh, we select the, the circular path, we can delete that. And now we want to set a couple contours for the uh, for what will be our background. I set it to number two. You can set the thickness of each of the uh, of the contours. We want to make it just a little bit thicker. You can just set it to wherever you basically want it to, how thick you want it to be. We select, break contour apart. Then we select the two contours, and we want to break those apart or ungroup those. Now we want to add some color here. Remove our fill. And there are two contours. Make our fill red. And make uh, our first contour black. And make the second contour red. Now we want to add our the cool linear halftone fade. Let's start with the number two. <coughs> you click shift and page up to move it forward. Let's match the lower left corner where we want it to be. Click it again and move the center of rotation down to that corner. And then we grab one of the rotator corners with the little arrows, rotator arrows, and uh, just kind of dial it in. Just Slight adjustment here to get it to match up. 
and again it looks pretty rough you can go in and actually smooth that out if you want to let's do a number four shift page up let's match our corners here click it again move our center of rotation down to that corner and then grab one of the corners and just turn it just dial it right in there we can zoom in and make a little slight adjustment to get it to match up now let's do the number five we'll bring it forward and let's just rotate this one to where it pretty much matches and move it into place there we go zoom in and move a little bit more to get it right where it needs to be and there we pretty much have that cool linear halftone effect we can just adjust the colors here play around with it a little bit let's make the background black <coughs> and now we are the first contour red and then the second contour black and this time let's set the, the linear fade to red into place let's go over and do our number four and there we have it let's do the five and then we got a cool linear halftone fade text effect 